This video demonstrates two methods to install PyCharm Community Edition into Ubuntu 22.04. So there are a number of different ways to install PyCharm. I used to use a lot of Ubuntu Make. It seemed to be the simplest, but it does not seem to be supported lately. And the last update on the GitHub page was in 2020. Snap install. This is a fairly simple and easy method to install PyCharm Community Edition. It seems to be okay now, but there appeared some issues with the Snap install previously, and I'll demonstrate this in this video. The JetBrains Toolbox install. This requires Fuse to install, but at or before 8.29.22, when I was recording this, the Fuse GitHub page posted, warning, do not install the Fuse package as of 22.04. The 22.04 refers to that version of Ubuntu and the JetBrains standalone installation. That's the second installation method demonstrated in this video. And one caveat, installation of a package manager like PIP or Conda or virtual environment is not demonstrated in this video. Outcomes, what you should be able to do after watching the video. Method one, snap install of the PyCharm CE or Community Edition. Method two, download and verify the SHA-256 SUM PyCharm CE from the JetBrains page. Install PyCharm CE. And then configure the desktop icon for PyCharm CE. And for both methods, I'll verify that PyCharm CE works. Requirements, an Ubuntu 22.04 computer with a GNOME or KDE desktop, RAM or random access memory, 8 gigabytes total system, or minimum of 4 gigabytes free, a CPU, a multi-core, and a minimum would be any modern CPU, storage, SSD or solid state drive with 5 gigabytes free, and the minimum would be 2.5 gigabytes with 1 gigabyte for caches, a monitor 1920 by 1080, a minimum would be 1024 by 768, and then Python 2.7 or Python 3.6 to Python 3.11. Additional info, the next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. In this section, I'll be doing a snap install of PyCharm Community Edition. Go over here to the suitcase, click on it. Up comes Ubuntu software. Let's see if I scroll down a little bit. I'll go to Categories and pick Development. Click on Development. It's going to take a while for it to load. And I'm going to click right here on Other Software. There it goes. Scroll down till I find PyCharm. It's alphabetical. PyCharm Community Edition and click install. Password. Enter a password. PyCharm Community Edition. PyCharm IDE or Integrated Development Environment for professional developers. Save time while PyCharm takes care of the routine. Focus on bigger things and embrace the keyboard-centric approach to get the most of PyCharm's many productive features. So now it's installed. So let's close this. First time I want to start PyCharm, I have to go down here to the uh, Show Applications and type in PyCharm. Well, click on it. it. Takes a second or two for it to start up. Let me go over here where it says PyCharm Community Edition. Right-click on it. Add to Favorites so it won't go away. And over here it says JetBrains Community Edition Terms. And I'll click that I confirm that I have read and accept the terms of this user agreement. If you want to go down through it, you can go down through it real quick and click Continue. Let's go ahead and send Anonymous Statistics. So now it's started. But first, I'm going to click on Customize. And instead of Darkula, I'm going to select IntelliJ Lite. A little bit easier to see. And then I'm going to go 
back to projects and click on new project. Now if you look here, it's a new virtual environment and you've got several different virtual environments, but I haven't installed any virtual environments in here, so I'm going to just ignore this section and go down to where it says previously configured interpreter, even though I haven't configured one previously. And I'm going to make sure this is checked, create a main Pi welcome script. And then I'm going to go over here and click add interpreter and then add a local interpreter. And I'm going to click over here where it says system interpreter because all these are virtual environments. And then it says USR bin Python 3.10. Or it might say USR bin Python 3, however your system's set up. But either one would work here. Click OK. And then click Create. It's going to take a while for the index to run. That's this little blue line right here. Scanning files to index. I can click Run and see if this program runs. Run main. And you'll notice right here it says def print high name. And if name equal main, print high PyCharm. You look down here, it says high PyCharm. So the snap install of PyCharm is successful. Here I am at a base install of Ubuntu without PyCharm installed. In this section, I will do a brand new standalone install of PyCharm Community Edition from the JetBrains website. I'm at the default PyCharm download page, www.jetbrains.com slash PyCharm slash download slash section equal windows. So I will have to change to the Linux download section before downloading the file. First, at the bottom right is a cookies and IP addresses section where you can have opt-in and opt-out permissions. I'm going to click on Yes, I Agree since I'm getting a free version of the Community Edition. So next, where it says Download PyCharm, I will switch to Linux. And now I will download. If you look up here at the top right, it's downloading. So let's verify the SHA-256 checksum. Click on this, and right here is the checksum, and I'm going to copy it. Make sure I don't get any spaces before or after. Copy. Now I'm going to move this over here to the right, squeeze it a little bit, and open up a terminal. Control-Alt-T will do that by hitting all three keys at the same time. And then I'm going to do a CD, change directory to the download section, DOW tab, hit enter. Do an LS, there it is. So now I'm going to verify the checksum. I echo, quotation marks, and then right click, paste. Do a space here. And I'm going to have to copy the file. I can't just type in P or something. Well, let me make sure I get the whole thing. It's not going to work if I don't. And don't include any spaces before and after here also. Paste. Quotation marks. Then the pipe symbol. SHA-256 sum. Sum. Not NEN. Dash C. Hit enter. And you'll notice that it says OK. If you don't believe me, you can change one of these numbers as you're doing it in the copy SHA-256 sum, and then you'll see that it says failed. So let me go back over here and squeeze this a little bit. Now there's a little bug here, and when I hit this back arrow, it's going to actually download the file again. I've noticed. There it goes. Don't know what that's all about. But anyway, I need to get back to this page and click on the installation guide and let's scroll all the way down to standalone installation and again I'm going to have to switch to Linux and I'm going to copy this copy and then paste now I'm going to go over to this line and 
type in a P, hit a tab, 22.1, two point, point T, tar, GZ, hit a tab after the T, and now I'm ready to hit enter. And it should install in the option directory after I give it the password. Whoops. One of these days I'll take a typing class, I guess. But let's go to the op directory and see what's there. CD, extracted the tarball. I guess I should put a V in there for verbal or something. Opt, do an LS, and there it is. Now I've got to switch to the bin directory. So CD, go to the PyCharm directory. Do an LS again. Do a CD bin. Hit enter. And do an LS. And the one I want to run is PyCharm.sh. Do an SH. PyCharm. PyCharm.sh. Hit enter. So now, ask you to accept the terms. And I confirm what I've read and accept the terms. And I'll scroll down here and click continue. And I'll send anonymous statistics. And so I have PyCharm opening up. So let me customize. And I'm going to choose IntelliJ Lite because that's easier to see video. And the next thing I'm going to do is go down here to the bottom left where it says Options menu. Open that and I'm going to click on Create Desktop Entry because I want to have an icon on the desktop. You can create a desktop entry for easy starting from System menu. I actually click Create the Entry for All Users. I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask for my password and go back to Projects and click New Project. Now, you'll notice that all I've got here are some virtual environments, but I haven't installed any virtual environments, so I'm going to have to run PyCharm without a virtual environment. So to do that, I go to Previously Configured Interpreter, and I'm going to create a main.py welcome script, and I'm going to add the interpreter, and I'm going to add local interpreter. And then I'm going to go to where it says System Interpreter, because all these other ones are virtual environments. And then Python 3.10. may have more than one option here, but I've got Python 3.10 and Python 3, and those are both going to be 3.10. Click OK. And then I'm going to Create. So I'm waiting for these indexes down here at the bottom right to upload. And there's my main.py. And once those index have loaded, I'm going to run, run main, and it's going to say, print hi, PyCharm. Actually, it's just going to say hi, PyCharm. So that works. Let's go to file, exit, exit. My icon disappeared, but I can find it here by going, doing a search. There it is, PyCharm. I started it. So now when I go over here, right click, I can add it to my favorites. And so that's pretty much it for installing a PyCharm Community Editions from JetBrains. Thank you for watching this video.